Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Selenium Python tutorial, we are going to learn about explicit weight in Selenium Python. So we have understood about the auto suggestion drop down on a travel website that we have been working with. So let us understand what issues you can face because of the synchronization issues. And say, for example, the web element that you're looking for takes a bit of time to load, how you can handle that with the explicit weight. Okay, so this is the auto suggestion code. So let me quickly copy it. And I'll create a new file. And I'll name it as demo explicit weight. So paste everything here. And now let me change the class name and the method name quickly. All right, minimize this close auto suggestion. Okay, so now in this particular code, if you see what we have used is we have used the time dot sleep. So we have uh, so when we say time dot sleep, it is the Python class time wherein we are asking or we are mentioning the script to wait the execution of the pause the execution for the specified amount of seconds that we provide here so for example after this click i want to wait for two seconds then again two seconds after send keys then again four seconds and that's what we have been hard coding in our script till now when we are learning all the basic stuff but this is not the ideal way in the actual framework you shouldn't be hard coding these weights into your script every place right now there might be instances where you might be required to sleep or pause the script that's a different story but the way we have been doing here is not recommended so that's where we have to use the selenium weights and explicit weight will help you to understand all of these issues so if we simply run this particular script now let's see that it runs successfully okay so i have changed the class name so i have to change here as well so create an object of this demo explicit weight and then call the method so we'll say demo dot demo d auto dot demo explicit weight and call this particular method now let's run it and this should work perfectly fine because we have seen that this is working fine previously when we are working with the auto suggestion drop down so it's selecting the depart from value you can see that it's waiting and then selecting the value because if we do not put the weights i'll explain you i'll remove the weights and then i'll explain you that it will start failing because of the issues the synchronization issues issues because the script will run really really fast right so it has selected the date and clicked on the search flights and you can see it is on the search flights page all right now let me remove all of these sleeps okay i will remove everything here and let's implement the explicit weight in this particular okay I'll remove that as well well so now we do not have any of the hard coded weights if you see all right now let's try to run it again and see what happens with this particular script okay so it will run very quickly this time because we haven't put any of the weights so it has selected new delhi new york and then looks like it has already failed in the date selection right you can see that click element click intercepted exception and in order to handle this so if you see this particular screen here it hasn't been able to select this departure date right and then try to click on the search flights and that's where it failed all right now and this is totally because the speed with which our script is getting executed it is not in sync with the application so application might be slow because of the network re network issues your network might be slow the application itself might be slow the web element takes certain amount of time to load on the page right so for example these are all the web elements so when you launch the page it takes a bit of time to load these web elements it's not just quick like the automation script so we have to basically explicitly make sure that whenever we are using these web elements so say for example in our script here now we are using certain web elements so we are clicking on the depart from and then going to so we have to make sure that these web elements are being checked for the existence presence and there are many conditions that you can check for in the explicit weight before you can actually interact with them and that's where explicit weight comes in picture so either you hard code the weights before each of these steps which is not ideal because if the web element appears in one second and you have hard coded the value of five seconds then you are just wasting the execution time of four seconds so when you use explicit weight you specify the explicit max timeout which might be five 
seconds or 10 seconds and then if a web element is available in one second the script will move forward and won't keep waiting for five seconds as was the case in case in the time dot sleep okay so let's go ahead and implement this particular so this was the date was the field where it was failing so let's see uh, and implement the date the explicit wait for the date all right so when we were clicking on the origin date so let's say after origin date click it was not able to find i think the all dates right so it has to find the all dates or let's also implement in the origin field as well so in order to implement the explicit wait we have to remember two things so first thing is import the web driver wait okay class so here we haven't imported anything at the moment so let me first just create an object of the web driver wait class okay and in order to do explicit wait the web driver wait class accepts the argument driver and then comma separated the amount of time or the seconds that you want to wait and if you just hover over this red line here you just need to import selenium dot web driver dot support dot wait dot web driver wait if you click on that you will see that this web driver import statement has been imported so either you do that way or you simply say from selenium dot web driver dot support dot wait and then you write that statement all right either ways it is doing the same thing now i've created an object of this let me create a variable weight and which will hold the reference of this web driver weight object now before i want to click on this origin i want to check the condition right so if i go to the documentation here and in the documentation of the explicit weight you will see there are certain examples given okay so explicit weight comes with two things so you have to create an object of the web driver weight and then check for the conditions right so here say for example this statement if you see web driver weight and then you specify the timeout and then until the condition so you have you are checking for the condition of a particular web element okay so and then there are certain conditions so alert is present or exists and there are many okay if you go to this particular expected conditions class if you click that you will see that these are the expected conditions that you can check the web element for so whether the element element attribute to include or selected state you can check you can check whether the located uh, element located is selected or not so many different expected conditions are there okay so element to be clickable right so let's implement one of these and here so after the wait what we have to do is we have to again import the expected conditions class right so there is another class from the support itself right so you can simply say from selenium dot web driver dot support and then you just say import expected conditions right so this is another import that you have to do along with the web driver weight because explicit weight works hand in hand with the web driver weight and the expected condition and then you can specify the expected condition alias as well you can say as and i can simply say ec so instead of using expected conditions everywhere i can just use ec okay so i just specify the ec there and now i can after this web driver wait i can say wait dot until right it's pretty simple wait dot until and then we have also imported expected condition here so we can say an expected condition is aliased as ec so we can say until ec and then you say dot you will see all the methods for the expected condition are visible here okay so element is clickable or element to be selected so you can use any of these basically depending on the need or the scenario that you are trying to handle now say for example in this case i want to make sure that this element is clickable before i can actually click on it okay so I, i'm clicking so i want to check this element is actually clickable and then you simply start with the locator okay wait until expected con condition element to be clickable and then which element i want to check i want to check the element i can specify the locator so i can specify the same locator the element that i'm checking for by x path and then comma separated x path and after checking that this element is actually clickable then i want to click on it okay so and then after that i want to say dot say dot click 
all right and now i do not need these two lines so i can comment these out right so before i was not doing any of the weight explicit weight but now i have specified the weight so these two lines are the important to implement explicit weight and explicit weight is specific to the web element it is not applicable to all the web elements on the page so wherever you feel that this particular web element i need to specify explicit weight because it is taking a lot more time as compared to the other web elements then in those cases you can use explicit weight if you do not want to use implicit weight for or all the script execution or all the web elements in the script so now this particular explicit weight is specific to this particular origin field right origin web element and it will check for that okay now let's try to run this and see if it runs fine or fails okay let me run it and this is how you will basically approach the issues and try to implement explicit explicit weight if the web elements are not getting selected properly then you simply go ahead and implement these sort of strategies to implement explicit weight so looks like it failed again and it it's again failing in the selection of the date okay so let's work with this particular web element so this is where it is now failing okay so this is what we have handled with the explicit date now let's go ahead and handle this all dates field so that it is going to select or it is clicking on this particular date field only if it is able to find those and there are so many dates to be selected so it might take time for the page to load so we have to implement the explicit weight so what we'll do here is we'll simply say wait dot until and we want to wait for this particular web element right so this is the web element that we are waiting for okay so we can say wait for until ec and element to be clickable and we'll specify the xpath for this particular web element okay and then instead of so we'll wait for that and then we'll say dot find elements right so we are using this find elements okay so we can use after waiting for this particular element that whether it's clickable or not we'll say dot find elements the same thing as we have done here driver dot find elements so we'll say find underscore elements so let me change it to element and then i'll add s there and i will enter here so we are in the new line and then we'll just find the elements by the x path so after checking whether it's actually clickable then we'll find all the elements there okay and then we'll simply store all the variables that are there or all the web elements into the all dates variable and comment this out okay so now what this line is doing is we have implemented the explicit weight for this particular web element we are checking whether this particular element is clickable first before we are finding the elements for that particular web element and then storing it in the variable all dates okay so now let's try to run this and see if it is able to select the dates now so we have implemented explicit weight at two places in our script till now so it has selected new york and it has selected the date right so 22nd of august and you can see that it has moved to the search flights all right so now safely we can remove all of these lines there and i will anyways post all this code for your reference so don't worry about the code the key thing is to understand how you are going to implement these things right so now you can see two important lines in the explicit weight defining this particular you know object so create an object of the web driver weight class which accepts the arguments driver and the wait time you want to wait so the, in this case i have specified 10 seconds and you can see that even though i have specified 10 seconds because explicit weight is a dynamic weight as soon as it is able to click on the particular web element it will go ahead and click and proceed further and not wait for all the 10 seconds previously we had done time dot sleep which was actually pausing the script for five seconds four seconds whatever we had specified and then it was moving further which was not a good practice so this is how basically you will be using now because we just want to create the object of this web driver weight class one so you can move it further at the top somewhere and then you can use this particular variable at all the places right so this should be fine as well so if i run this now it should be exactly same thing or same results as we have seen previously so select depart date going to departure date and clicked on search flights right now all these things or all the explicit weight concept everything that we are learning here will be anyways 
using those in the framework section. So make sure that you go ahead and understand how we have implemented the explicit weight. Important thing is this particular line, right? So whenever we are trying to implement explicit weight, we have to make sure we create an object of the web driver weight and then wait dot until and then expected conditions. Okay. And if you say expected conditions, if I simply change this or see expected conditions with the dot, so expected and conditions you can see, we have lots of expected conditions that we can use. Presence of element, element clickable, visibility. So depending on the scenarios here, I was trying to click on the web element. So I have just used the element to be clickable, but not everywhere you want to click on the web element. Say for example, there is a web element for which you want to text, you want to check whether the element, the text is present in the element, right? Whether the text has loaded. So you use, you, you use text to be present for that particular web element. So there are many things to practice in this explicit way. Try to go ahead to these similar websites as, as we have seen like yatra.com because this, these are the scenarios that you will face in the real setting or real projects and not the dummy websites. Okay, so that this will give you a lot more confidence because once you are able to figure out how to tackle all these issues on the real website, the project work will be very, very easy for you. Okay, so just try to understand these lines here and see how you can practice more on implementing the other fields. So, so for example, in terms of assignment, I would say go ahead and implement the web driver or the explicit weight for the origin city and the arrival city fields as well. Okay, so that's that's all for this tutorial on how to implement explicit weight in Selenium with Python. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.